So, you've probably been hearing a lot about AI art generators lately. Tools like Midjourney have been all over the internet, tools like DALI have been all over the internet, creating some seriously wild and impressive images from just a few words of text. It was only a matter of time before Adobe threw its hat in the ring. And their answer is Adobe Firefly. At its core, Firefly is Adobe's family of creative generative AI models. It's designed to help you create images. It can apply effects to text. It can change parts of your existing photos using simple text prompts. Think of it as a creative co-pilot, ready to help you brainstorm or execute an idea almost instantly. It's a whole new way to approach the creative process. The big question though is, who is this for? Is it for professional artists or someone just messing around? The answer is kind of both with a specific focus. Adobe is positioning Firefly for creatives already using their products. Graphic designers, photographers, video editors, marketing teams, it's built to slide right into the existing Adobe Creative Cloud ecosystem. But more than that, Adobe has put a huge emphasis on making Firefly commercially safe. They train the model exclusively on Adobe Stock's licensed and openly licensed content. All right, let's get into the main event, creating an image from scratch. The primary feature you'll probably jump into first is text to image. When you first land on the Firefly website, the interface is super clean. You're greeted with a simple prompt bar at the bottom of the screen. This is where the magic starts. All you have to do is type in a description of what you want to see. Let's try something simple, like a golden retriever wearing futuristic sunglasses sitting on a beach in Miami synthwave style. Being descriptive is key here. The more detail you provide, the better Firefly can understand your vision. Once you hit that generate button, Firefly takes a few seconds to process your request. It typically generates four different variations based on your prompt. You can look at the four images and see which one comes closest to what you had in your head. Maybe one has better lighting, or another one nails the composition you were imagining. From here, you can either download the one you like, or start refining it. This initial generation is just the first step. Now Firefly's user-friendly interface really shines. On the right side of the screen, you have a whole suite of tools to tweak your results. You can change the aspect ratio, square widescreen portrait, you can also specify the content type, photo and art. Selecting photo unlocks camera settings like aperture, shutter speed. The real power is in the styles panel. Text to image is cool but for photographers, Firefly's most powerful feature is generative fill. Adobe has already baked it into Photoshop, they're banking on it. Generative fill lets you select any part of an image and use a text prompt to add, remove, replace content in that exact spot. This is a game changer for photo editing. Example, a distracting trash can in the background. Select it, click generate without a prompt, and it's gone, perfectly filled. Walk through, upload your photo. Tools on the left, insert remove pan. For this example, use insert. Brush over the area where you wanna add something. Imagine an empty city street. Paint a section of the road, then type classic red sports car in the prompt box. Firefly generates multiple car options, seamlessly blended into the scene, matching lighting, shadows, and perspective. It's incredibly impressive. The AI doesn't paste a generic PNG. It analyzes the surrounding pixels to understand the environment. It looks at the direction of the sun to cast realistic shadows. It examines the texture of the road to create believable reflections. It even adjusts the color grading so the object doesn't stick out. This saves massive time versus traditional editing, where you'd have to manually source an image, cut it out, place it, and then spend hours color matching and painting in shadows. Another great use is extending an image. Photo too tightly cropped? So, with all these AI tools out there, how does Firefly actually stack up against the competition? Namely the big players like Midjourney and Dali 3. They are all designed with slightly different philosophies. Midjourney is the king of artistic and highly stylized imagery. If you want to create a breathtaking fantasy landscape or a moody cinematic character portrait, Midjourney often delivers the most aesthetically pleasing and detailed results right from the start. It has a very distinct polished look, but its interface, which runs through Discord, can be a bit clunky for beginners to get the hang of. DALI 3 on the other hand, especially with its integration into ChatGPT, excels at understanding and executing on very complex and specific prompts. It's fantastic at interpreting natural language, you can give it a long detailed sentence with multiple subjects and actions, and it usually does a great job of getting all those elements into the final image correctly. It's less opinionated in its artistic style than Mid Journey, which can be a good or bad thing depending on what you're looking for.
It's a very literal interpreter of your words which makes it powerful for specific concepts but sometimes the results can lack that artistic flair that Midjourney is known for. This is where Adobe Firefly carves out its own niche. It might not always produce the single most stunning artistic image on the first try compared to Midjourney, and it might not follow hyper-complex prompts quite as literally as Dolly 3. However, its strengths are ease of use, control, and that all-important commercial safety. The user interface is by far the most intuitive and beginner-friendly of the bunch. The sliders and style options give you a level of iterative control that feels more like using a piece of software than just rolling the dice with a prompt. So, after spending some time with it, what's the final verdict on Adobe Firefly? Let's break it down into pros and cons. On the pro side, the biggest win is its ease of use. Seamless integration into the Adobe Creative Cloud. The web interface is clean and inviting. Generative fill built right into Photoshop. Massive workflow improvement. Commercial safety is a huge plus. Trained on licensed content. Peace of mind for professionals and businesses. Style effects. Lots of control. Photo settings. Granular control. Allowing for quick and easy refinement. However, it's not perfect. Raw image quality can lag on artistic or complex scenes. Compared to mid-journey, sometimes less adventurous. Results can feel stock photo or generic, likely due to training data and safety-first design. Prioritizes clean aesthetics over wild artistic outputs. Realistic human faces, still inconsistent. Hands can be hit or miss. Expect to do extra editing to get people looking right. One tip for anyone jumping in, don't treat your first generation as the final product. Use it as a starting point. Lean on style and effect controls in the right-hand panel. Combine styles, use a reference image, tweak the composition, try very simple prompts with generative fill, often select an area and click generate with no text. Works great. The AI often interprets context smartly. It's a tool for collaboration, not a vending machine. Who is Firefly for? I think it's pretty clear. Professional creatives, graphic designers, photographers, social media managers, anyone inside Adobe's ecosystem, it's built for you. Generative fill for photo editing, practical time saver, generative expand for reformatting images, powerful. But for practical everyday creative work, Firefly is powerful, well-designed, safe, and reliable. It's a solid foundation for the future of creative work.